Hello everybody, welcome to the Daily Bread Homestead. just want to do a quick video here. Uh, came up with uh, an idea for just a quick way to uh, load up my truck if I needed to. And uh, this is one of the items that uh, I've been working on. And this is, uh, uh, I guess, a bug out bucket. Uh, I loaded this bucket up. This is just a five gallon bucket from Lowe's. And uh, I loaded it up with various uh, food products that I have here in uh, in the house. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and show you everything that's in there. Hopefully this works out. Uh, if not, oh well. Uh, so I'm going to pause this and I'm going to lay everything out and show you exactly what I have in here. All right. So we're rolling again. So this is everything that uh, I had in the bucket. Uh, there are 18 cliff bars um, that I kind of used to fill in some of the spaces between uh, everything else that was in there. And then I have 11 cans of tuna. There's a can of chicken breast. Three cans of salmon. And then I have two small jars of peanut butter, three cans of fruit, uh, six cans of various soups, and then a box of baking soda, even threw in some coffee. There's a couple little jars of uh, jams. This here is honey. Uh, some salt, some sugar, Another little jar of spice. Over here I have some uh, sea biscuits or some people call it hard tack that I made. And I even have new in bar soap. So all of that fit in my five gallon bucket. And uh, I'm going to make some more of these. And these are just something that I can grab real quick. Throw it in my truck if I have to get the hell out. And um, I could probably live on this probably almost a week. Um, what I'm going to do is, after I put everything back in the bucket, <clears throat> I'm going to pour in uh, rice. And yeah, it'll be loose and, you know, it'll be in the bucket. But, you know, it beats starving to death. But that way every little nook and cranny will be filled in. And um, I'll have a decent amount of food. I think it weighed out at about 30 pounds. The bucket was 2 pounds, 2 ounces. It actually weighed 35 pounds. But I figure I'd subtract about, eh, you know, two, maybe 2 or 3 pounds just for the containers and whatnot. But anyway, so it's at least 30 pounds of food here. And, um, you know, I can live on this for a while. I don't, you know, an emergency situation... I can make this stretch. So anyway, I uh, just thought I'd throw that out there. Just an idea. I'm going to make some more of these. Um, just because they're handy. They're easy to grab. I can stack them in my truck. And, you know, load up in a matter of minutes. Alright? So anyway, hope this is helpful. And uh, y'all take care. And uh, we'll see you down the road.